Hi everyone. So in this video today, I'm going to do a couple of charging tests on the Polestar 2 using a 150 kilowatt charger. Now, um, if you've been following the charging discussion with Polestar, you might have noticed that there are a lot of people that uh, have said that it's, it's frustrating to not be able to get 150 kilowatts of charging when they have tried out these kinds of chargers. Now, I would 100% agree. Polestar claim that the car is capable of 150 kilowatt charging, but it seems that the best that anyone's been able to get is around 110, 120 from normal use conditions. Now, there are some tips and, and tricks that you can do to try and heat the battery up. So the main issue with charging fast is generally down to the way in which the, the vehicle is designed and the, the temperature. So when a battery is cold, it doesn't um, charge at its optimum speed. Uh, and that is just, uh, that, that's a scientific thing really. But different car manufacturers and different battery manufacturers will be able to design their vehicles in different ways. So cars like the Audi e-tron, they, th that can charge at 150 kilowatts generally speaking for a large section of the charging curve and it doesn't seem quite as subject to really low temperatures as some other cars might be obviously there are there are issues when it's very cold but um, the Polestar is is struggling a little bit more I think and that's frustrating a lot of users so in this video today what I want to do is um, do two things I'm going to arrive at the charger that I'm going to use with a really low state of charge probably only around six or seven percent and then I'm going to charge just for a few minutes to warm up the battery and then I'm going to go and drive and I'm going to use what some people refer to as the yo-yo technique which is to basically floor it and then allow it to regen floor it regen and this is a trick that can help to heat up the battery now the truth is no one's going to do this in the real world. This is a, a pointless thing. It's a waste of energy. It's a waste of time. But I'm just doing this because, firstly, my car is at a low state of charge and I needed to go and use one of these polar chargers. Actually, it's BP Pulse. Uh, and also because I thought it would be interesting to see if I can warm up the battery enough to try and get it into a position where I can get a higher um, charging speed. So last time I used this particular BP Pulse charger, I think I achieved about 110. Uh, that was the peak. So this time I'm gonna see if I can do better than that. So yeah, if you could of course subscribe down below, that would be really great as I've got lots of videos that uh, are gonna be coming out in the future that might be helpful for people. And uh, let's see how this uh, charging experiment goes today. Okay, so we've arrived at this uh, BP Pulse location, 150 kilowatt charger in Ashington in West Sussex. You can see on the display, we've got 7% showing and uh, it's gone red now. And the power limitation that uh, is, is showing only about 50% of the power that we that is available to us when we're driving now and a range of 10 miles. So we're gonna hop out, get charging and uh, see how it charges for the first little bit and try and use that to warm up the battery before we go out and drive again and do a little bit more of the yo-yoing. So we're charging up here on the uh, the BP uh, Pulse 150 kilowatt charger all hooked up and um, yeah the idea is as I said I'm just going to charge maybe to I don't know 15-20% something like that and then I'm going to go back out drive a little bit and yo-yo the car to see if we can get the, the battery even warmer and then come back again and start another charge. Okay, so I wasn't 100% sure that that charger was working correctly. Um, so, and I didn't like the way the cable was so twisted. Uh, it was a little awkward to plug in. So I thought I would move to the one next to it and plug into that one and see if that was uh, any different. But no, it's exactly the same. So charging speed we're, we're seeing now is just 93 miles per hour. And um, yeah, that's really slow. So we're at a battery percentage of 10, which um, which is quite low, and the temperature is still going to be really low. It's two degrees, so 96. So normally I use um, about 2.5 miles per kilowatt hour as a rough estimate because that's kind of what the charging speed display shows on the Polestar. So if you're seeing something like 97, which is now what it's bumped up to, divide that by 2.5 and that's showing 38.8 kilowatts um, charging. So that's what we're getting at the moment, 38.8 kilowatt. And we'll see how that progresses. I'm just going to let it, uh, the battery percentage increase a little bit more, maybe 15%, and then go out and yo-yo it and try and get it even warmer and come back and we'll start that charge again. Okay, yeah, so we're at 40% uh, now, just leaving this uh, BP location, and 19%. Uh, okay, so we're leaving the BP location, 19% battery, 
40 miles um, available. And you can see there on the power display now that there's no grayed out section at the top end of the power. Temperature has come up a bit in the battery, so that's caused the, the power to come back and to be available for us. So we're just gonna head back onto the, uh, onto the A24 and go, well, it doesn't really matter which way we go. Um, let's go this way up towards the London and Horsham side. So this is the yo-yoing method. You can uh, apply full power and then full region and full power, full region. Now I'm sure other cars on the road probably think, what, what's he doing? Um, it's fortunately not busy, so I'm not getting in anyone's way or causing any issues. But uh, yeah, it's a strange thing to be doing. And obviously, why would you? You wouldn't do this in the real world, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit of fun. is it makes me feel quite sick doing this. Really, really not very pleasant. Um, and it's amazing how good the Polestar is at delivering so much power and torque. It's very, very instantaneous. But then when you're in uh, the standard regen mode, the regen is so so much. I mean, if you look look at how much regen we get, and that's, you, you only see braking when you do this. So if I apply brakes, there you go, it goes orange. And that orange is an indication that you're going beyond the scope of the regen ability. But the regen is really, really strong on the Polestar. It's, it's kind of sickening in a way. And I think a lot of people might find that they prefer driving on uh, the low setting rather than standard, just for pure comfort. Okay, so we're heading back now. You can see that uh, the yo-yoing has caused this grayed area to appear now on the charging side. I'm not sure if you can quite see it, but there's a slight area of gray at the bottom of the charge. And that indicates now that the battery is hot. And in fact, we're getting a slight regen limitation because the battery is warmer than it would like to be in this particular situation if you're gonna regen. So uh, that's a good indication now. It is just the right time to head back and try that charge again. Okay, so now we are parked up, 14% battery, and now we're showing a charging speed that's ramping all the way up. Look at this, you can see it increasing as uh, we've only just plugged in, and it stopped at a charging speed of 246 miles per hour at 15%. So bear in mind earlier when we were at these kind of low percentages, we weren't seeing that kind of number. So 246, divide that by, let's see, divided by 2.5, and we're talking about 98.4. So that's still not that fast. Um, 98.4 kilowatts charging almost hitting 100 but we're at battery charge of 15 percent now so much lower let's see what happens though over the next few minutes while we charge up and we'll take a reading every five to ten percent and see how things progress okay so we have reached 20 percent battery and we're showing a charging speed now of 250 so what does 250 work out at 250 divide that by 2.5 and we're getting 100 so yeah 100 kilowatt charging at 20 percent let's see how it goes as we increase up to 30 percent okay so yeah we're at uh, we've got to 30 percent now and we're hovering around 220 miles per hour so 220 works out as 2.5 again dividing 88 so yeah nothing special so far we're struggling to crack 100 uh kilowatts even with a nicely warmed up battery yeah let's keep charging and see how it goes Okay, so 40%, 222 or so, about 220. So again, that's the same thing. Not much has changed, 88 kilowatts. Okay, so 50% and 170, it's slowed down. 
uh, divide that by 2.5, that's just 68. So we're seeing quite a significant drop now in uh, charging speed, which is kind of disappointing, actually. I'd really hope that this uh, charging experiment might prove that I'd be able to get a higher charge speed than I had previously. But um, unfortunately, I haven't, even though warming up the battery, you'd think that that would, uh, that would help. So we've reached 70% now on the battery level and the charging speed is showing 124 miles um, per hour. So yeah, what does that work out as um, that slowed down quite a lot? 124, divide that by 2.5 is 49.6. So we're getting just basically a 50 kilowatt charge now. So I hope this video has been useful. Um, I have to be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed. 150 kilowatt charging is something that I'd hoped we would be able to see at some point with the Polestar. Now I know it's winter, but I did everything I could there to heat the battery as much as possible. And it still didn't perform that well. So my concern here is that if you did have some form of battery heating on the Polestar um, and it was able to heat before you reached a uh, 150 kilowatt charger, would that be of any use? Yes, it, it would be because you can see from the video that the initial charging speed was much faster than it was when the, when the battery was cold. So there's no doubt that was helpful. However, I still didn't get 150. I didn't even get anything particularly high. Um, and that is a little disappointing to see. Now, please bear in mind, of course, I have absolutely no way of being 100% sure that these units are delivering everything they should be. But um, they both delivered similar amounts of power when I started up, and I've no reason to think that they aren't. But that's something to always bear in mind that these kinds of tests are not scientific. This is just me fiddling around um, while I'm charging up. But my point here is that it would be nice if Polestar managed people's expectations a bit better. Um, more information on the website about 150 kilowatt charging might be a good idea because people get frustrated when they're not able to achieve something that they've been been sold um, and it is important that people are aware of the fact that that there are limitations with the charging speed on the Polestar it isn't um, easy to get 150 kilowatt charging like it is on uh, Tesla and say the Audi e-tron they can charge very quickly um, so that is something to bear in mind. Now, does it affect my day-to-day -day enjoyment of the car? No, not really. Like, um, I don't really drive much to need these rapid chargers. I, I will do in the future, but um, it isn't going to, it's not make or break for me. This is a great car. Um, and you know, you've know, you got to bear in mind how much you think you're going to be spending time on these rapid chargers. If you want to charge very quickly, stop and grab a snack, then, you know, Tesla is a fantastic car for that with their supercharging network. But um, if you are happy to take a little bit longer, and we're talking only a few minutes, um, you know, I had a coffee, I went into Marks and Spencer's, I bought some food, and it didn't feel like I was waiting around for that long. So that is something to bear in mind. So yeah, I hope this video has been helpful. And if you could subscribe down below, I'd really appreciate that. And I'll be back again with another video very soon. Thank you.